morning, depending on wherever you are, I am Austin Arome, um, right here on Wonderland TV, and this is a Vision Squad 360. And uh, on today's show, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the Nigerian Professional Football League. Uh, six uh, players uh, have been nominated uh, for the Player of the Month Award. Uh, actually, this is a uh, uh, something new as far as the Nigerian Professional Football League is concerned. Player of the Month Award, uh, we'll give you details of uh, that story uh, much later on the show. And there's also uh, a Nigerian uh, coach that is based in Spain uh, who is uh, uh, applying for the job. He has said that uh, he will make the Super Eagles uh, uh, play offensive football and he said he has uh, all the qualification. He has the utmost uh, uh, qualification to coach the uh, Super Eagles of uh, Nigeria. And there's also Brighton FC that has announced a profit of about two, uh, 122.8 million pounds uh, in the 2022-2023 financial year, uh, the most successful season in the Premier League history. There's also uh, the news about uh, uh, Sunday Dari, uh, owning a club, a former minister of uh, youth and sport, uh, who actually uh, unveiled a team called Black Scorpions of Obama. So we'll also give you detail of that story uh, later on the show. And there's also uh, the coach of uh, the Tigers, uh, you know, uh, the head coach of Australia, uh, talking about uh, Sandy Brondello has declared that his team is ready to confront uh, uh, the Nigerian Tigers and others uh, at the Olympics uh, and the 26 uh, players uh, provisional squad uh, was announced uh, earlier in the week so we'll take a look at that as well uh, look at Nigerians chances uh, of uh, making it uh, to uh, or at least getting a medal at the 2024 Olympic in Paris. Also, uh, the 2025 World Club Championship, uh, the, the, the list of teams that will be participating has been announced. As you all know, uh, the, 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 20, the FIFA uh, World Club Championship is going to witness an expansion. We're going to have uh, 22 teams, 32 teams, rather than the usual uh, you know, uh, uh, the teams coming to represent the continent, you know, teams that have won the championship. Champions League from different continents coming to represent. This time around, it's going to be a complete tournament that has 32 teams and no Nigerian clubs uh, was actually listed in that 22, 32, uh, you know, teams that will be playing uh, at the uh, FIFA uh, World Club Championship. Al Ali uh, is there, uh, uh, just like you expect. Uh, and uh, the likes of uh, uh, Sundowns will be playing in the tournament. Uh, due course will also give you detail of uh, other African clubs uh, that will be playing at the 2020, uh, 2024 African, uh, talking about World Football Club Championship. So I uh, will give you detail of uh, that. Uh, and also uh, looking at the Nigerian National League uh, where Abia Comets uh, are unbeaten as far as uh, the National League uh, Southern Conference is uh, concerned. So they remain unbeaten uh, in the Nigerian National League. All this and more we're going to be talking about right here on the show, but then it has to come after the short break. show and starting now from the home front uh, six players have been nominated uh, for the Nigerian Premier League Player of the Month Award for March. The players are submitted are uh, Adams Olamile uh, of Remo Stars a Football Club. They also have a uh, Christian uh, Trebara of a uh, Shooting Stars a Football Club. They have a uh, Godwin Obaje of uh, uh, as well as uh, AGK Ugoshuku uh, both of uh, Rangers uh, Football Club. We have uh, Nenrot uh, Silas of Plateau United and Sani Suleiman 
of Aqua United, uh, the likes of a veteran, uh, talking about Godwin Azaji, who has spent uh, quite a, a long time playing in the Nigerian Professional Football League. Uh, you know, uh, they netted twice for the blind antelope in the month, while Mikeda Ugochuku was outstanding in his position as he is, he, is, he added Rangers to the top of the Nigerian Professional Football League table. Olami Nekon uh, scored two match winning goals in two games against Imba and Bayosa United. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they, rather, uh, they were able to keep uh, clean sheets, uh, um, you know, in that direction for the NPFL uh, title. Uh, the wins has, you know, has kept Remo Stars in uh, the title. We also have uh, Silas uh, who scored a hat trick for Plateau United in the month uh, as he extends his goal to six in the season. So, like, man, showed that uh, the goal scoring responsibility for Alpha United since his mid season transfer to the club and is regarded as uh, the best signing of uh, the mid season transfer after his exploit for Alpha United. He has already scored uh, six goals in five matches uh, for the promise keeper. Is netted five times in the month. The winner of the award will be announced next week. So, interesting time ahead uh, as far as uh, the Nigerian Professional Football League is uh, concerned. In the past, uh, you know, you, you, you really hear about these things. You really, you know, um, see the league keeping track of the players' performance. But it's good to know that the league, uh, you know, the organizers of the league are keeping tab of uh, these players' uh, you know, performance. For me, which is actually an improvement of the side of the management of the league so we have players now knowing that uh, their performance is being looked at and probably uh, we might see you know some of them uh, being called up for the you know senior national team you know we, we've always called for the inclusion of these home-based players in the national team so players like uh, you know uh, Suleiman who you know despite just being in the team for just a month he has scored five goals already for uh, you know, six goals rather uh, for the promise keepers, Aqua United. Uh, this is somebody that just joined a month ago. Six goals uh, in uh, just one month and he scored five in the month of March, which actually shows that he's actually a quality, uh, you know, player. And if Aqua United is going to remain in the league, his performance for the team is going to be key. So, uh, Suleiman uh, doing a very good job for the promise keepers right there at Aqua United in Uyo. So wishing the best of luck and uh, also as they try to uh, stay up uh, in the league. Probably it's going to do wonders and help Aqua United stay up in the league because I don't know how that is going to sound. Aqua United has been in the Nigerian Professional Football League for as long as I can remember. So will this season be uh, the season where uh, we'll see the end of Aqua United in the league? Your guess is as good as mine. And moving on, uh, let's talk uh, about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. As you all know, uh, the Super Eagles are without a coach. What we have now is an interim coach, Pinil George, who handled uh, both matches against uh, Ghana and against Mali. And, uh, you know, uh, consultations are still on the way as they're looking at uh, who uh, will succeed Jose Pichero as the coach of uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And there's one Nigeria, his name is Henry Makinwa, who has applied uh, for the vacant national team job, uh, you know, uh, uh, as far as uh, the Super Eagles is uh, concerned. And he says uh, his qualification is actually top-notch. Uh, he has a uh, uh, UEFA license. He has a uh, five years experience coaching in the Nigerian Professional Football League. And he's currently in Spain, uh, you know, managing in an unknown league, uh, so to say, if I can say that. But then uh, the fact that he's been in, you know, his coach in Nigeria, you know, he's trying to improve his resume, you know, uh, gone, uh, you know, he's, he's gone out there and got a UEFA license. It shows that this is a man that actually means business. And he's saying that if he's given the job, that the Super Eagles will play uh, you know, what he chose to call offensive football, attacking football, unlike what we saw under Jose Pizero, where it was pretty much absorb the pressure and, you know, take the, the ball on the counter. So, Makinwa is a Nigerian and he wants to be given uh, the job. There are other players as well, uh, who uh, other coaches as well, who are in the running 
uh, to get that uh, particular job uh, uh, to coach the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And he said uh, that, uh, you know, uh, he's um, uh, updated his European concept about football uh, coaching. Uh, he spent five years in Nigeria uh, and, you know, he was the one that promoted uh, ABS FC, which is a backer Bukola Saraki uh, football club that they were in the Premier League then. Uh, and then uh, he was head coach of uh, Castina United. Uh, he helped them uh, to a fifth place finish uh, in the Nigerian Professional Football League, which is actually their highest position ever as far as the ABL, uh, MPFL uh, is uh, concerned. On that note, we'll take a short break and when we come back, we'll still have more to talk about right here on the show. To the show is the Vision Sport 360. Now let's take a look at what's happening uh, in the, you know in uh, other areas in other uh, sphere uh, where Brighton FC have announced a record profit of 122.8 million in 2023 slash 2022 slash 2022 financial year, which is actually the most successful season in Premier League history. The profit after tax increased annually by uh, almost 100 million pounds from 24.1 million with turnover going up by 17.2 to a record uh, 204.5 million pounds. Albion finished sixth in the Premier League uh, in 2022-23 season, reached the FA Cup semi-finals and also brought in huge transfer fees uh, uh, for several of uh, their key players uh, and uh, let's take a look at uh, you know some of those uh, players uh, that were sold uh, in you know in order to recoup uh, this uh, money uh, talking about in June 2022 uh, Ven Bissuma uh, joined Tottenham Hotspur for a fee of uh, 30 million pounds while in August 2022 uh, Mark Cocorella joined Chelsea for a fee of uh, 60 million pounds and in January uh, 2023 uh, Leandro Trossard uh, joined Arsenal for a fee of uh, 21 million pounds uh, and in June 2023 uh, Alexis McAllister joined Liverpool for a fee of uh, 35 million. Let's also uh, also talk, have to talk about uh, Moses Caicedo and uh, you know Roberto Sanchez who joined Chelsea in August 2023 for a fee of 100 million pounds uh, which could rise to a British record of 150 million that's for Cosido and then Sanchez made a move uh, also to join Chelsea for a fee of uh, 25 uh, million pounds which is actually a remarkable one for uh, this Brighton side and one surprising thing is that despite all these you know sales Brighton are still uh, comfortable uh, they started the season well even though they are not you know getting the result re in recent times but then they are not uh, threatened by relegation and you know uh, to me they've done good business you know to, you know uh, to be able to sell this number of players and still remain in the league for me uh, is actually a good one for uh, Brighton right there and you know they brought in uh, you know uh, former Shakhtar the next coach the Zebi uh, to build the team and he's done a very wonderful job uh, so far uh, keeping the team where it is uh, at the moment and uh, moving on and uh, switching gears now uh, let's talk about uh, other sport uh, as uh, the coach of uh, the Australian female basketball team uh, is uh, confident is talking tough uh, ahead of uh, uh, basketball teams uh, uh, events at the Olympic Games uh, she's declared that his, her team is ready to confront the Nigerian Tigers and other teams in the group uh, Brondello, uh, the coach of the Australian women's basketball team announced a provisional list of 26 players on Wednesday and they expected that to resume camping next week uh, for the Asian Games. Uh, the coach admitted that it would be difficult to pick the final roster uh, for the tournament due to the players that 
he had on the team. Chipotle said that they recognized the strength of uh, their opponent, uh, talking about Canada, Nigeria, and France, who are in the same pool uh, uh, as uh, Australia uh, when it comes to the group opening games of uh, the uh, you know Olympic Games. Australia will face Nigeria in the opening group game of the Olympic qualifiers. Uh, and moving on now, let's also uh, talk about uh, uh, bad news for Nigeria football, if you ask me. Uh, the 2025 World uh, Club Cup FIFA actually snub uh, Nigeria's representative at the big Alali and others, uh, so to say. When the 32 teams of FIFA World Club commence in 2025, it will surely be without a Nigerian club, a top Nigerian club, uh, talking about Eniba International, the people's elephant who dominated the continent in the early 2000s and their performance in the last also earned them the opportunity to play in the maiden edition of the African Football League. The World Soccer Company body will start its newly revamped World Club Cup in 2025 and no Nigerian club will be present and you know the reason why. The reason is that Nigerian clubs have not been doing so well uh, when it comes to club competition. The last time uh, a, a Nigerian club ever won uh, the CAF, you know, Champions League, uh, uh, you know, uh, was Eniba, and I think it was in 2004 and 2005 season back to back. And ever since then, no Nigerian club has done well when it comes to, uh, you know, CAF football. And also, the last time another Nigerian club, you know, ever came close to uh, winning a CAF competition and was also Eniba, uh, recent times when they got to the semi finals of uh, the CAF Champions League, but they could not actually pull it through. So at the end of the day, disappointment for Eniba, disappointment for Nigerian football and uh, you know it's actually uh, not a good time for Nigerian club for football. So uh, the likes of uh, Al Ali uh, will be going to represent uh, uh, Africa. They also have uh, Memolady Sundown uh, will be going to represent Africa. In all, uh, we're going to have uh, 12 uh, European teams while uh, the likes of uh, uh, you know uh, South America will have a six, uh, Asia will have a six as well, uh, Africa will have a six, uh, CONCACAF uh, will have, you know, uh, talk, sorry, Africa will have four representatives, the likes of uh, CONCACAF, uh, the North Central America, all will have four representatives, while Oceania uh, will have just one sport, uh, the host nation, uh, which is uh, the United States of America, uh, qualifies a team bringing a total number of uh, 32 participants. Uh, Al Ali uh, qualified thanks to his two Champions League crowns in 2021 and 2023. Uh, the likes of Wada Casablanca uh, of uh, Morocco also having the ticket in his pocket. You have a uh, memory sundown, just like I said earlier. Also, uh, you know, uh, qualified uh, for uh, the, uh, the, 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 the FIFA World Club Championship. And then we also have express experience also of Tunisia uh, most of these teams coming from uh, the, uh, um, the, 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 the the North African countries so Nigeria will not have representative when the 2025 FIBA World Club Championship will be played uh, it's on this note I want to wrap it up on today's edition of a vision sport 360 and to thank you viewers for joining on today's show and also to thank our production crew for doing a good job behind the scene i mean austin arome have yourself a lovely night rest <laughs>